It's amazing what a girl will do for $25 million. And now we continue 52 Reasons Week with Jessica Brody on the Radio Disney Fan Club. How did you come up with the reason for 52 Reasons? Because I don't remember if you've told me. I was on the street and I saw um, a, a meter maid writing a parking ticket for someone. And I just thought, I want to be a meter maid, but just for a week. I don't want to do it in my whole life. And then I started to brainstorm all these other jobs I'd want to do for just one week. And I thought, wouldn't it be cool like to be you know, just be able to do like all these different jobs and experience all these different things. And I'm like, well, I can't do that because I have a job, I'm a writer. So I decided to create a character that does that. And as soon as I thought, what's the funniest character to have to do a bunch of different jobs? Like that immediately popped into my mind, a spoiled heiress. So um, that's where the idea came from. I love it. And did you know all 52 jobs that you wanted her to, that you wrote out before you did them? Or did you, um, did you like come up with more as you wrote? Um, a little of both. I had like 10 from the beginning that I knew I wanted her to do. Um, and then I continued to add jobs and as I, as I, um, as I went and actually funny story about the cover and here's the book right here on the cover, she's wearing this donut hat. And when they showed me the cover, my publisher showed me the cover. I was like, well, but she doesn't work at a donut shop in the book. And they were like, well, she could. And I was like, yeah, I guess she could. So I actually went back in and added the donut job um, after I saw the cover. <laughs> did you have to take, like, another job out to keep it at 52 jobs? I did take a different job out, yeah. I took an um, amusement, I think she was working, she worked at an amusement park selling those turkey lakes. Um, I think I replaced that with the donut shop. That is epic. And can, can, tell us as many different jobs that she's worked as you can without giving away too much. I'll tell you some of the main okay. ones that you'll see also in the trailer. Okay. Um, the main ones is she works as a maid uh, for a maid service. She has to work at the supermarket. Um, she has to work um, cleaning horse corrals, so she has to scoop horse poop. Um, she has to work it. at a dairy farm milking cows. Um, she has to work at a fast food restaurant, a donut shop, uh, a car wash, um, flower delivery. She has to work at a funeral home. She has oh. to dig graves. Did you have any, did you have trouble coming up with all of the 52 different jobs for Lexington to do? Because I know that might be a bit of a task for me to come up with. Well, I knew from the beginning that I was going to be 52 jobs because I wanted her to do one job every week for a year. So it's 52 weeks, 52 years, or 52 jobs. Um, <laughs> yeah, that would be bad, 52 years. That would be <laughs> horrible. I don't think it would be worth working for 53 years just to get her trust fund. <laughs> No, I don't think she would do it. No. Did you write the jobs in order, or did you change them as time went on? Um, you know what? They changed a couple times. Um, I knew that I knew there were going to be a few jobs that were kind of the big jobs. Like a lot of the jobs are just really quick. Like I mentioned them in one sentence. Um, when I kind of sum, I'll, I do like a thing where I sum up a couple weeks at a time. Um, and I do that through. Uh, Lexington has to do these status reports for Luke, her babysitter, her intern that's watching over her. So she does the status reports in the form of video messages. And in the book, I include transcripts of those video messages. So I'll, I'll use the video messages to kind of sum up like a couple weeks at a time where you would see her do the video message and go, oh, okay, so I've been, it's been like three weeks since I last talked to you. And in those three weeks, I've done this, this, and this. So there, was a bunch, there are a bunch of jobs that are just really, really short that you don't really even hear about. But I knew I wanted a few jobs that were kind of the, the bigger jobs that I, they, I paid a lot more attention to. And so those jobs from the beginning, I knew what those would be. I knew they would be the fast food restaurant, uh, the maid service, and um, I think the flower delivery was like one I knew I wanted to, to do it a lot with. Um, so from the beginning, like those were the jobs that I... I knew it was gonna have they were gonna have more significance, and then the rest I just kind of filled in with with job with smaller jobs that I um, that I didn't have as much description about. Sometimes it feels like the whole world is waiting for my next screw up. So why not just prove them wrong? Being America's favorite heiress is a dirty job. But I guess someone's got Join to us it. tomorrow as we continue 52 Reasons Week with Jessica Brody on the Radio Disney Fan Club.